guys, today we're at Staccato in Georgetown, Texas, a little bit outside of Austin. We're gonna do a facility tour, shoot some guns, see how they make the guns. It's gonna be a fun day, guys. Stay tuned. from Staccato, CEO, tall guy. Wonderful. Brian, it's great to have you here. Thank Thanks you for, for being here. Me. We appreciate you coming out. Look forward to sharing Staccato with you today. And we're gonna do a tour of the manufacturing facility. Uh, we'll start on this side and we'll work our way through building two and then we'll work our way through building one. I think you'll enjoy it. And if you've got questions along the way, please feel free to ask. Uh, and again, thanks for being here. Of course, let's get it going. Okay, All great. Right. Okay, Brian, so we'll start at the slide line and the raw material for our slides uh, is a block, a solid block of carbon steel. You can see how heavy that is. It's got some weight to it. It's got some weight to it. So the, uh, your, all of our slides begin life looking like this. So you Hunter, have it pre-cut set to It is, yes. Oh. It's cut in a blank like this. And then we'll uh, surface grind it to make sure it's got spec, and then it'll go into the machines to get uh, begin its life as a slide. Everything we use here at Staccato is American-made steel. Uh, all of our parts and components are American-made. Everything that we can make ourselves here, we are making ourselves, okay. and we're looking forward to bringing more things inside of Staccato Manufacturing. All of this is slide manufacturing. So the, the, that raw block of steel goes into uh, one of these three machines here. You can see this one running presently. And by the time it comes out, it starts to resemble a slide. It'll still have a square top, uh, but basically the bore is drilled here and uh, the beginnings of the life as a slide. We work our way down this part. You start to get a little more done to it, the round top, and then on the other other side of the facility here is where uh, serrations are added to the slide, as well as sight cuts. Uh, if it's an optic ready gun, it'll get the optic cut there. Uh, if it's not, it'll get a dovetail for the appropriate sights that are going into uh, onto the slide. All right. What's your favorite part of the slide process? My favorite part of the slide process is, well, this is a pretty cool machine because it uses wire and electricity to cut the breech face. Okay. And it's very precise. Most of the tolerances that we hold here throughout the facility are about one thousandth of an inch. Um, so Which it's is. pretty small. Yeah. If you think about a, a millimeter being one thousandth of a meter, we're talking about a thousandth of an inch. Uh, so this machine holds a tenth of a thousandth of an inch when it cuts the breech face. So you can see the breech, the breech face has been cut here. Yep. And this is what came out, right? This, this little piece. And then over behind us is the um, is the barrel cell, and that's where Javi is working to basically cut the barrels to length, crown the barrels. Uh, if, it's, if it's a threaded barrel gun, it will get threaded here. Uh, it will also get the beginnings of um, some of the sculpting for the barrel fit process as well. Many of our own small parts uh, back in the section back here, they're more wire EDM machines. So we make our hammers, we can make sears, we can also make the grip inserts that go inside the, the grips themselves. So all of that's made from tool steel, very hard steel. Cut the wire EDM machine to really precise tolerances and then use them in our manufacturing process. So this is our, our coding department. Uh, we do our own DLC coding in-house. Uh, we have two custom built machines for that purpose. And this is pre-coding. Uh, they're blasted and they're clean. They'll go through a bath and then isopropyl alcohol wash really and then strip everything out basically everything so it's got to be very 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 clean we used to outsource this um, but we found that we could do it better and control the quality by doing it ourselves internally and it speeds up the process it speeds up the process as well so we'll start we'll stop right here it's sort of central to uh, the assembly and gun building side of the business the the team over over here behind you they're all working on, on what we call function 
So those pistols have come down, they're kitted, and they'll still do everything from fitting the thumb safeties, the grip safeties, they'll, they'll do the blending, they'll remove sharp edges, they'll do chamfer, all of that happens there. And then once that's complete, the pistols will go for coating. Okay. When they come back from coating, they then come to this team in here. These are our finals teams. So all of these folks are, are gunsmiths who have been basically either trained externally plus internally, done an apprenticeship, and come through our process, and then go and they, and they build the pistol. So they're responsible for setting trigger weight, they're responsible for making sure the pistol is perfect and ready to go to the customer. So Alex is building a, um, what are you building? It's a 22P. He's building a 22P, looks like uh, someone can figure that with some slide serration, so that's one thing that customers can do. They can add options. Oh, that's a threaded barrel version as well. So that's a that's a limited edition. This is a limited edition piece someone's purchased. Uh, so Alex is going to build that. Once he finishes everything, sets the trigger perfectly, it'll then go to QC. So even though we trust Alex very much, we're not going to let him test fire his own pistol that he built. Someone else will test fire that pistol and they'll inspect it. I'll go through that process and then once it's complete, it will go what we call up the hill, which is into our inventory area. It'll be cleaned, it'll be packaged. We go into the vault and it'll go out to a happy customer.